Losing my job at the University of North Carolina was the most emotional, scarring thing that's ever happened in my life. I wrote Rebound because it's been burning inside me for 17 years and needed to come out. Going through that experience at North Carolina was very difficult for a lot of reasons. It was my alma mater. It's my wife's home state. Where do you go? Where do you hide? I was scorned in a public manner in a press conference where my leadership was questioned, my character was questioned. As time went on, I learned that I had a lot to do with it. I should have managed things differently. That's what this book is all about, is reflections, leadership lessons learned. What could I have done differently? What could I have done better? What would I do going forward? And how can I help you, the person who's buying the book, to avoid the landmines that I stepped on during the course of those three years. I chose the name Rebound because I wanted it related somewhat to basketball, because that's my background. But I really wanted it related to coming back from failure. People fail a lot. And so how can you rebound from a failure and when I went on my leadership journey, it became my passion. And I want the whole world to, to realize leadership is a learned behavior and that you can become a better leader. The people that I think should read Rebound, quite frankly, is everybody. Because everybody leads in some way, shape, or form. You're a parent. You lead your household. What more important institution is there than your family? And that takes leadership skills. It's all about leadership. It's all about communication. So this book really is for everyone. Know that it's okay to fail. I have a quote in there from Nelson Mandela. He says, I never fail. I either win or I learn. And I think that that is what we need to, to try to embrace is the opportunity to learn and grow. The only thing that is not as okay is if you don't learn from it and grow from it.